We are here in uh, Zurich with uh, Egon uh, Van Gries, who is the founding and uh, managing partner of uh, Materon Asset Management and uh, GoldSwitzerland.com. So thank you for uh, having us. Can you tell us when did you decide to invest in uh, physical gold and silver and what makes you take this uh, decision uh, in the past? Well, back in 2002, we saw that the world was in a mess. Governments were running deficits, banks were increasing credit at an enormous amount. And we thought that for our investors, wealth protection was absolutely critical. Uh, at that time, gold was $300. The low had been a couple of years earlier, $250. But we consider that gold was the best way to protect the assets of our clients from the destruction of paper money that we saw coming uh, in the ensuing years. So that's why we, we advised our clients to put up to 50% of their assets into gold into physical gold. Can you tell us why it's uh, very important to uh, own real physical gold and silver and not uh, paper gold or certificates? The uh, paper market, the gold paper market is 100 times bigger than the physical market. So um, there is so much paper outstanding in gold and in silver and uh, governments uh, are said to have uh, up, uh, the world governments have 30 around 30,000 tons of gold. Most of them probably don't have it. They probably lent it to uh, bullion banks, to trading banks, uh, and therefore there's probably not the, round, the gold around that uh, the banks are saying, the central banks are saying they have. And one day when investors ask for delivery uh, against the paper gold that is outstanding, there will not be enough physical gold. And therefore, it's extremely important to hold physical gold uh, because the paper gold will be totally worthless and, uh, and banks will not be able to make, meet their commitments. Can you tell us now uh, why it's really important as well to own your physical gold and silver outside the banking system? Well, the world is in a mess, as I said. It was already in a mess 2002. It's a lot worse now. We have never, ever in history had a situation when virtually every single major government is, is bankrupt and when the whole banking system is also bankrupt. The banking system is only standing uh, because banks are allowed to value their toxic debt at uh, full value uh, or, or at, at, uh, no, at maturity value. Uh, if they valued it at market value, no bank would be standing today. So you have a situation when governments are bust, when the banks are bust or potentially bust, uh, and therefore we think that gold must be held outside the banking system in your own possession uh, where you have direct ASIC access to your physical bars. Um, and um, because a lot of the gold that is stored in banks, and we've seen that, is not actually there. Now, can you tell us how do you see the situation evolving uh, in the future? There is no solution to this problem. The problem is too big. As I said, governments are bankrupt. Debts are increasing now at an exponential rate. And there is no chance whatsoever to reduce the debts. Any government that it tries austerity programs is thrown out immediately. But even if they did try austerity, it's too late now. So the next stage that I see, and I think that will start very soon, it could be already in 2013, is that the money printing will accelerate. Deficits will accelerate and therefore money printing will accelerate and we will be on the way to a hyperinflationary depression. Now it might take a few years but I think it could go faster than we expect because the system is so fragile. Uh, so uh, money printing, as I said, will destroy the currencies uh, as all currencies are going down, they have for the last hundred years. They're down 97 to 99 percent against gold in the last hundred years. They're down 80 percent against gold in the last uh, 12 years. So there's not far to go to be down 100 percent and that will happen. And so the money printing will destroy the value of paper money 
Um, and uh, that is what will create hyperinflation. In this context, can we say that uh, gold is in a bubble? Gold is not a bubble. All gold is doing is reflecting the destruction of paper money. You just have to turn the curve upside down. If you look at, rather than seeing gold going up, you turn it upside down and it's the currencies going down. It's the dollar going down, it's the euro going down, it's the pound going down. Uh, and that will continue. Only 1% of world financial assets are in gold today. So nobody owns gold, actually. And gold has still gone up in the last uh, 12 years, gone up uh, five, six times, depending on the currency. And, and, and as I said, still only 1% uh, of, of investors actually hold gold. So that will change in the next few years, um, and uh, which will mean that the demand for gold will increase, there isn't enough supply, so the uh, additional supply can only be met by higher prices, and this is what's going to happen. Don't stop.